Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back on a Sky Factory, and you can see I just got a couple mobs over here. I was gonna get real quick, um, but there's a couple things I want to get done in this episode. Uh, very, very specific, and one of them is, as you can see, I'm just swinging this wooden sword that's just complete garbage. And uh, I was gonna make a stone sword, but then I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute, this mod has Tinker's construct, right? And if this mod has Tinker's Construct, then I can go ahead and make something better. Um, I think the best thing I could probably do would be bone right now. And I don't know if you can make a bone sword or not, but it's worth checking out. So, as you can see, I've uh, done a little bit in the meantime. Not too much. I just kind of made the farm a little bit bigger. I now have a food source, uh, other than apples, using uh, the rotten flesh to make a monster jerky. Um... And other than that, I mean, I got these two buckets waiting for a rainy day. I still yet to have a rainy day, so I haven't been able to collect any water yet. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a good start going. So we're going to go ahead and dump a lot of this stuff. Ooh, an iron ingot, sweet. Um, so, yeah, so what I was thinking was, um, as I was collecting uh, bones, because I was using them for bone meal and stuff like that, I thought, hey, maybe I could just do the tinker stuff, and then it won't be an issue. So... Well, f ooh, yeah, yeah, where's that? Okay, so I got this epic loot bag, and I wanted to wait to open it until uh, I got on camera. That doesn't look very epic. An apprentice ring, which is Thomcraft, and an empty map. That was my epic. That's what I waited for. Really? Well, I mean, I'm going to put that on, not that it's doing anything. And an empty map. Really? Really? An empty map? That's what you gave me? That's just complete nonsense. Let's go ahead and uh, get some more dirt going here. I also, uh, I got some um, rubber, uh, rubber tree seeds when I was sifting. And so I planted some rubber trees and I've kind of noticed that the rubber trees tend to give me more saplings than the oak ones do. So I'm, uh, I've got like a 50-50 going on those right now. Um, half rubber, half oak, hoping that I'm going to yield more by doing, or more saplings by doing that. I mean, as you see, I just got 31 saplings from those, so. <coughs> also, uh, an axe would be really helpful. I mean, granted, we do it pretty quick with the uh, vein miner, being able to uh, break them all down and just, you know, after breaking one block, but it would be even much faster if I had a good axe. And I don't want to waste my cobblestone right now on making a cobblestone axe. So I've just been kind of holding off. But, like I said, if we can do Tinker's Construct, then I should be a little bit okay. And, uh, come on. We should be able to, there we go, make a decent axe as well. And that would be pretty cool. So we'll have a decent axe, and then we will have a decent sword. And it will uh, kill the little mobbies a little bit quicker, and as well as we'll be able to collect our wood a whole lot quicker, which will be nice. I wonder if this will take both trees. Yes, it will. Yeah. That's the one kind of nice thing about having them so close is that the wood touches, uh, considers it the same vein, and it'll break it all. So that's cool. And then the leaves, they get really, really close, and they'll do the same thing. So, yes. Lots of dirt. Lots of dirt I've been collecting as much as possible and I think I've got I don't know 15 or 16 in here so I've got plenty of uh, opportunities to make stone did I get them all planted? yes okay so make a little more dirt here actually a lot more and I'm really waiting for the rain I've had no rain since it started but um I did make myself a bed, as you can see. I did infest one more tree to get the string so I can make myself a bed. That way, when it comes to nighttime, I just dodge the night. And uh, trees grow a little bit quicker during the day, from what I can tell. Um, so I took my torch down and just uh, basically concentrate on working on the day now. There is one thing I do want to make. And I think the recipe is really, really easy. Um, it's called an achievement table or something like that. Achievement stand, that's it. Oops. And it's really, really simple. It's the achievement book with four planks, or six planks. We're going to make that guy up really quick. 
because I don't want to have to carry the book around with me and I think it'd be cool to have it be a place to come check back on every now and then and I'm thinking I don't know really where I want to put this I think on the corners not bad uh, but seems like an awkward place to have it and most of the stuff's gonna move eventually anyways but yeah I guess we'll put it on the corner here so we can check on it every now and then there we go and so basically you just right click on it the book is there and there you go it's got all our achievements still marked or whatever so that's cool um, so yeah so we're gonna take all this dirt right now and get a whole bunch of cobblestone so I'll grab all that cobblestone and this dirt is done 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 and done all right so I think we're gonna try to do a whole bunch of gravel today so yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and uh, turn all this dirt into stone or whatever and see how much we get. And we'll kind of see where we go from there. If I get some water today, it'll be absolutely awesome because I'll be able to make a crucible, which then means I can make some lava and we can start a cobblestone generator. And I'll, yeah, I'll have my cobblestone generator. So that'll be nice for building blocks. I won't have to depend on just wood because let's be honest, it's extremely time consuming. Although it's not like a cobblestone generator is really all that much faster because I'd still have to mine one cobblestone brick at a time. So, But it looks like I'm getting plenty right now, so that would be good. So I might break it down, um, do a little bit of sand, do a little bit of dust, um, and then uh, gravel. That way we can get uh, some ores, hopefully you know, get some of the metals, and uh, maybe we can automate something today. That would be awesome if I could automate something today. All right, so got all that, and I can still plant more of these, or not plant, but compost more of these. Some more dirt. All right, cool. So now we've got a whole bunch of stone. Wow, quite a bit, actually. That's a lot of cobble. Well, not a lot, but it's a good start for cobble. And, let's see, oops. Oh, it won't sort from there, okay. Ooh, I got some potato seeds. So another rubber tree seed, some regular seeds, uh, acacia seed, grass seeds, pumpkin seeds. So we've got some more seeds we can get going on. Uh, grass seeds could be really good for starting a uh, uh, a mob farm with uh, passive mobs. So that could be good. We could uh, start doing that and start being able to get like meat and stuff like that from the, the piggies and the cows and stuff like that and the chickens. And I'm sure there's other stuff I'd be able to use some of that stuff for. So we might be able to do that. But I don't know if I'll have enough uh, dirt because I just turned it all into stone. So I'm okay with it though. All right. So we have 22 cobble. All right. And we've got our little cobble hammer here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put you guys all right here. And we're just going to make a whole bunch of gravel real quick. And oop. just break all this with the hammer. And we'll get a whole bunch of gravel. And then we might break some of it down into um, sand. And then break some of the sand down into dust just to uh, get them all. At least get the uh, achievement done, right? So we'll leave ourselves 10 gravel, because I think gravel's got a lot of the good stuff. And there we go. And then we'll do we'll do six dust. There we go. So it kind of evens it all out. So we test all of this out and see what kind of cool materials we get. Um, no, sieve. All right, so let's go do some gravel. I know what I've kind of realized is gravel doesn't always yield stuff. Uh, I was playing around in... Um, like a test world or whatever and yeah like that gravel doesn't always yield stuff but it does for the most part usually yield something Ooh, flint flint can be used by tinkers you yeah, see we're not having good luck here not having good luck there was a couple of those that we got nothing from it's okay it's okay we got some flint looks like a couple uh broken metals there a little bit of lapis i really don't know what that would be good for yet but it's okay let's see what we get from the sand sands i think gives you seeds I think you can get quite a few seeds from the sands. 
Uh, no, it looks like more broken metal type of stuff. Oh, there's some seeds. Melon seeds, maybe. <coughs> and... Let's see. And then, oops. And then dust. Let's do the dust and see what we yield. Well, we got something there. And some more there. I think the, the dust gives you, like, crushed, like, pulverized metals as well. So that'd be good. So if I can get enough... It'd be cool to be able to make a bucket because then I'd be able to, uh, ooh, some redstone, cool. Um, I'd be able to make the clay pretty quickly. If I ever get some freaking water, uh, let's see, what did we end up with? Ooh, some blaze powder. It's got a little bone meal out of it. Um, some certus quartz, cool. Skystone, not really useful. Uh, platinum, some iron, cool. Uh, nickel, tin, some more iron. I think like four of these I can make a gravel and smelt it into an iron ingot. So two more of those would be good. Aluminum and uh, copper. We got a little bit of coal and some flint. All right, well, since we got flint and I've got bones here, as a matter of fact, let me grab this other chest. Um, what I might do is get started on the tinkers right now. And then that way I can get some better tools and be a little bit more efficient. So I've got that, I've got that. I don't need you guys right now. Let me put you in the other chest. I just feel like you need to be in there instead. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna grab some wood. So we'll grab some oak wood real quick. And we're gonna make all the tinker stuff right now. So first thing I need to do is, I forget how these go. I believe it's like this. There we go, that gives me eight of those, cool. And one is like that. That gives me the part builder. And I believe one plank gives me the stencil table. And um, a chest. That's what I need to make. A chest. Oh, not a chest. Uh, yeah, that guy. A uh, crafting table. A crafting table gives me the tool station. Cool. And... I might as well just make another crafting table because I'm going to put these in an area where my crafting table's not. And I'm going to turn all these to half slabs because we don't want anything being able to spawn. So everything's going to be a half slab. Alright. So we'll go, I'm thinking right over here is a pretty uh, safe place to do it. I wonder if I could just sub out these. Would that, would that be okay? Would I be okay with that? <laughs> or maybe I'll just put them in the ground right here. Yes, but an axe would be really useful right now. Because I do so much wood chopping that an axe would just be super, super useful. Alright, so we have... We're going to put that guy there. Um, the tool station will be right there. The part builder right there. And the stencil table, right? Oh, you know what? I gotta make a chest so I can make a pattern chest. Just because I like to do that. Alright. Chest. Pattern chest. It's not really a necessity, because I think just using a regular chest actually makes more sense, but, you know, whatever. And there we go. Alright, so I got the pattern chest. Now I know the first thing I want to do is make an axe, so we'll go ahead and put these in here, and I'm going to need an axe head. I think an axe is just an axe and a stick, so I'm okay with that, but I do want to make a sword, so I'm going to go ahead and grab you, and we'll grab this one, because I think this one is the one I used to make the rapier, which is like that long sword, and that's kind of what I'm going for. I have sticks on me. All right, cool. So now part builder. All right. So this one, can I make this out of flint? I cannot. But I can make it out of bone, correct? Does it have to be bone meal? Oh wait, hold on, shift. This one cannot be made out of those. Okay, maybe it is another one. Like this blade right here. So we'll do that blade. And we'll go here. And it's getting nighttime. Can I sleep yet? Nope. All right, so put you there. Can you be made into flint? Nope. Can you maybe? So 
the same thing. Oh, it's the same stuff. Um. Well, I guess I can make cobblestone stuff. Um, do I have any more dirt? Did I make any more dirt? I did not make any more dirt, but I got trees. Let's get some sleeping out of the way. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm still dealing with that cold. I know my energy is just not the way it normally is, and I know it's got to be a little bit kind of annoying to to listen to. I mean, you can just hear me. I'm very, you know, I don't want to, like, complain too much, but nasally and stuff like that. And, and I don't want to be that way, but, you know, it kind of is what it is, so... I do apologize, but like I said, I had been going so long without playing that I really wanted to get back to it, and so here we are, you know? Um, oh, I was making a crook. That's what I was going to make. All right. Um, but hopefully this cold will pass pretty soon. I only got it a couple days ago, and uh, hopefully it doesn't last much longer. Do. You know what? Let's make that axe real quick. I know. I know for sure the axe can be made from bone. Yeah, I knew that for sure. And let's put you in there and you in there. And there we go. No special name or anything like that. But just much faster. Much, much faster. Get all these trees broke down. And then... I got plenty of saplings. I should be able to get enough stone to make one cobble. And I should be able to make a stone sword. Which would be cool. And then I can go kill some more mobbies. Maybe get some cool stuff. And uh, I want to be able to start like being able to um, auto kill. Um, like make an auto mob farm. And... Um, I don't know if I have... I haven't thought of a way to collect yet. Because I don't have enough materials to make um, uh, hoppers or anything like that. So it'll be interesting as to how I do it. But the rotten flesh that I get from the, uh, the zombies, not only can I use for food, but I'll also be able to use for it to uh, compost. And that'll be nice because that'll be another great source to get some more dirt. Which... I can never have too much of because well it's where we get a lot of our material so let's see oh yeah I'm waiting on this but hey I got that so I've got my axe which is cool and I guess I can put this back in here and that's a material cost of eight that's a material cost of one <laughs> That's not going to be the one I'm using right now. I'm going to end up doing that one. And let's see. Almost done. Almost done. How much stone do I have left over? I got two in there. Do I have any stone in here? Oh, I got three. Okay. Oh, I've got enough for a piece of cobble. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and make up a piece of cobble. And I should be able to make my sword now. Make my part builder. So we'll do the sword blade with cobble. There we go. And then we'll do this uh, hand guard with bone. Cool. And then I should, 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 should be able to go like that, like that, and like that. Nope, these two switch. There we go. And I have a stone right here now. So that'll be cool because that'll help me kill uh, the mobs a little bit quicker as well as um, I'll be able to not worry about breaking my sword and I do believe that this has I forget the name of the mod but it goes in with Tinker's Construct and uh, basically you never actually break your sword and you get like attributes added to it and as you can like I'll show you it might actually go up to the first uh, batch of fighting here but you earn achievements and it does like the mods that we normally would do at the Tinker's Table it does them automatically and so I'm kind of curious. Okay, so it's almost dead. Now, can I do it with just a piece of stone? Is that just going to be a percent? No, it's got to be copper. Okay. So it is broken now. But it's still doing some damage. So even broken, it seems to be better than 
just with my bare hand or with a cheap sword. So let's get these last few guys. Oh no, it seems to be doing half a heart. So it's about the same as doing it with your bare hands. Look, it's broken. But I don't have any cobblestone to upgrade it yet, so hopefully I can get like a the diamond on it or the obsidian on it or even the uh, the moss on it so that way it's like uh, self fixing or whatever something but I got some uh, I see a loot bag right there so maybe we'll get something good from this loot bag I mean it can't be worse than the last one a freaking map that's what I got a map and a freaking little bobble thing from Thomcraft. yay all right, so let's throw some of this junk away. So, bone meal there. Uh, what don't I need right now? Don't need that. Just trying to clean house here. Um. Oh wait, I want my saplings. And I want all but one to be left in there. There we go. And you go in there. You go in there. Oh, I'm out of room. Alright, so let us, a rare loot bag, what do we got? We got a mana pearl and a saddle. Sweet, we got a saddle. I don't know if that's really beneficial right now, but hey, we got a saddle. I'm okay with that. Um, this stuff I got in the last episode, I still don't know what it is. I haven't even looked into a lot of these mods yet. I've just kind of been trying to get everything situated to start. So, let me go ahead and put some more of you up here, because we can never have too much food. Well, it's not totally true, but right now we can't have too much food. So, um, go ahead and throw that in there. Oh, throw you in there, you in there. I'll go over there later. Sieve up some more of this dirt. And, there we go more stone all right oh there we go we got a little bit more stone all right I would love a rainy day can I get a rainy day it's like soon please I would really really like a rainy day um, go ahead and put you patterns in here and I'm gonna need some more crooks right stickies just a ton of crooks because I use them a lot I mean that many seems a bit excessive but hey I will use them all really really quickly so I'm okay with making that many like I said it seems excessive but it's really not I go through them so fast like I mean how many did I just use like four yeah, so that's not too excessive. All right, let's go ahead and get this wood up. I'm really, honestly, getting pretty tired of chopping down wood. I have never, I mean, I know it's, you know, it's basically skyblocks, but it's so much wood I'm constantly getting. By this point, you know, I'd already have, like, if I was playing skyblocks, I'd already have a cobblestone generator because you start with the stuff. <coughs> but not so much here. And so a lot of wood to begin with. And I do think that you get more saplings from a rubber tree. And it, it just could be my chance. But I swear I get a lot more from a rubber tree than I do from an oak. So I might switch those all over to rubber just so I yield more. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's go over the book and see what achievements we can kind of take a look at. Uh, I've done that done that oh yes I did make a tool from bone haven't made clay yet so I can't make the crucible I can't do that can't do that um, make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base and spawning mobs oh yeah getting that already uh, make a field of grass 25 blocks well I don't have enough grass yet but I guess I guess we could do that I mean, that would be a, a good way to end this one. Um, 
we could start maybe just getting some animals. Um, it has to be 25 blocks away as well. Gosh, I didn't know that. I thought the animals could be closer by, but oops, got an axe now. All right, well, let's go ahead and start doing that then. We can start getting some uh, animals around here. All right, and I have no planks on me, which is really rare. I usually have like a ton of planks sitting around here. All right, let's make up a whole bunch of planks. There we go. A whole bunch of planks. Clear out whatever I don't need right now. Um, let's sleep off the night. Can I sleep yet? Yes. Okay, cool. So yeah, maybe we'll get to an animal farm started because I know I have some grass seeds in one of these chests. One of these chests has grass seeds. Melon seeds. Grass seeds. There we go. So we should be able to start up some grass, which would be nice. And... Here we go. All right, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. All right, now it's not going to be a big area, um, okay, this is where the fence is going to be, so we'll do a nice little, uh, let's see, like, that's the fence, if I turn there, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, um, that's the three of this, that'll be eight, yeah, I think an eight by eight area will be good, one, oh wait, I don't want you there. Alright, so if it's 8 by 8, this has to be 10 by 10. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And bring it back. Two, three, four, five. Yep, perfect. And then we can fill that with dirt and get that going. And do this really quickly. Make it a little more safer in a bit. But for right now, if I can just get some started. And if I can get some animals spawning out there. That would be cool because... Then I'll have wool, and I'll have milk, and uh, some food source, which would be nice. And let's see. One dirt, two dirt, three dirt, four dirt. Not a lot to start, but <coughs> I guess it's just kind of slow going at the very beginning. I mean, I'm going to be excited once I can start automating some of the stuff up, because that'll make all the difference in the world, to be honest, being able to automate everything. And then we can really start getting into it. Because I know with the way everything is, once I can start automating like the dirt and I can start automating uh, like breaking, like getting a cobblestone generator and uh, start automating that so it can start giving me gravel and sand and dust and stuff, it'll be nice because then I'll have like huge amounts of uh, metals coming in and uh, basically just auto producing those, which will be kind of nice. Because, I mean, how often can you just generate your own materials? Like, your your building materials. Alright. Oh. Well, if you're going to pop up while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of you. There we go. You are too hungry to use vein miner. Interesting. Oh, well. Let's eat up then. That's cool. That's really cool that it doesn't limit you to doing that. It's just kind of interesting. Not something I really thought about, but that's something new I've never experienced before. There we go. And we should be able to get a little more dirt with what I just picked up. 
you, you, and you. There we go. All of those are planted. And I'm getting quite a few saplings at a time now. So the dirt is coming. Jesus. The dirt is coming pretty quickly now. A lot quicker than uh, what I had expected. So that's cool. Didn't think I'd be able to get this much this fast. And yes, they're all planted. Cool. Did I get that last one filled? Yes, I did. So we'll wait for this dirt and then we'll go put it out there. This will give us eight pieces of dirt. And I can plant some seeds. And uh, oh, without water, I don't know if that's going to grow or not. Like, I don't know how that works. Let me get a little more wood. Because I want to create the fences and stuff all out there while I'm there. So let's go ahead. Hey, get back here. Oh, I just dropped all of you. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to need quite a few slabs. So that'll work. And, and a whole bunch of sticks for the fence. And I think this will be probably... Uh, what I'll finish up with today is just getting this uh, area out here built up. Alright, cool. So, plenty of fence. Oh, while I'm here, let me repair my rapier here. There we go. And I should have this dirt. Bingo. 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 And hopefully these mobs aren't so stupid that they don't just fall off into the abyss. Alright, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for right now. And finish putting up walls here, or fence. Not that it's going to really matter because there's still a huge void that's not filled with dirt. But it'll be okay. And then we'll put up all the fence around it. And we should be good. Gotta admit, I'm kinda bummed out that uh, you know, I can't get more done yet. Because I haven't had any water. That's really annoying. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I should probably... Whew. So dangerous. I really shouldn't just be running around. I am really fidgety with my fingers, so it's probably not a good idea for me to be running around on these because I'll make a wrong turn by accident and sayonara to me. Alright, there we go. right and then plant some of these grass seeds Let's say that should spread eventually right so animals will start to grow there eventually and I did not darn it um, I did not plan correctly Alright, so we'll finish up with this. So guys, <coughs> if there's any hints or strategy that you got for me um, while doing this, definitely let me know. Um, I'm just kind of going with my normal vanilla Minecraft mind right now. And, uh, hey. Get down. I'm just using my, my normal vanilla Minecraft uh, mentality right now. And so... If there's anything that I'm not thinking of that you guys are like, dude, you could totally do this. Like, let me know, because um, I, I really want to go epic with this. Like I said, the a re the reason that I want to do this one was because it makes sense to be by myself. Like, whereas the other ones, like I want other people to be involved and want to be able to have battles with people and you know mess with people and stuff like that. And I still probably will have visitors, so that'll be cool. But um, I, I want to. You know, I want to have a good time with it, and so I want to do as much as I can, as fast as I can, so I can start to get to some of the upper level stuff that will be fun and useful, and, 
Yeah, and uh, you know, the only way I can do that is, you know, with your guys' help, because there's a lot of you guys that obviously know this stuff way better than I do. And there's absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. So, um, yeah, we'll just make this. I haven't made a fence. Nope, it's like this. Like that. Um, fence gate. There we go. Just to keep the... I mean, <laughs> they can't even come through right now. But just to prevent it for the future. Alright. Put you there. And you there. And we'll go ahead and put these slabs like that. Because that'll be good. And then we'll get some more dirt going. Oh, I meant to make more fences. Man, I do hate when I forget to do stuff. Because I really do have plans. And then I mess up. Alright, so... That's going to give me 20. I need more than that. So there we go. So we've got 41. So we'll put these last few fences up and then we'll call it a day. Uh, but yeah, do let me know if there's anything I should be doing that I'm not doing. Um, understand that I do have plans for stuff in the future. Right now, it's just a matter of getting everything set up. And yeah, so yeah, that's spread. I wasted a lot of the seeds. I only needed one technically. But I know I'll get more, so it's okay. So with the sun setting on my day 10, apparently, on uh, the server, um, time to go to sleep, and yeah, we'll call, uh, call it a day here, and until next time, guys, have a good one, and I'm out of here. Peace.